Hello class 6. Today we are going to discuss a topic which is called the pulley. Now you must have seen a pulley, okay? But anyway, let us first start with the definition of a pulley. A pulley is of course, don't forget, a simple machine which is used to change the direction of the effort to a convenient direction. Now you can see this picture over here and we have a load, alright? This L denotes a load, so we have this load and this load needs to be pulled up, okay? And you are the girl who is pulling this load up and we have the pulley over here. The pulley can rotate, mind you, it can rotate about this axis and so it is fixed to this rigid support. All right. So, in order to pull this body up, what you will do is you will apply an effort in this direction. So, you will start pulling the rope up like this. All right. So, because of which, what happens is the load will be lifted up. Now, this is what happens if there is a pulley, mind you. Whereas, if you don't have a pulley, what happens? If you don't have a pulley, you will have to pull it up like this. Okay, to give you a demo, I have a small pulley. Okay, just a sec. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, so we have here, this is a small pulley that I have. Okay, this pulley can rotate over here. So, the lock over here is the weight or the load. So, my hand wants to pull the load up because I have the pulley I will apply an effort in the downward direction in the downward direction as shown so I will pull it in the downward direction but the load which is the log gets lifted up let's see one more time here alright ok so this is what happens here so nice and easy because of the pulley Okay, we can easily change the direction of the effort because if we don't have the pulley, what we need to do is we need to pull the lock upwards like this. We need to pull it up like this. So we have to apply the effort in the upward direction and applying the effort in the upward direction is difficult. Okay, to pull anything heavy in the upward direction this way, it's difficult. Alright, but the pulley makes it so easy for us to pull the body up by changing the direction of the effort. Now in which direction are we applying the effort now? We are applying the effort in the downward weight. Yeah, in the downward direction. We are pulling the rope. We are pulling the string in the downward direction and the log is getting lifted up here. Alright, okay. So, remember a pulley is a simple machine which is used to change the direction of the effort to a convenient direction. So in a convenient direction we apply the effort and the load gets pulled up. So this is what a pulley does. Alright class 6, so let us also discuss the topic wheel and axle in this video itself. Now we have seen wheels basically in vehicles or could be you know trains and aeroplanes. So wheels are the circular discs that rotate, alright? But do remember, wheels are attached to a rod or a bar which also rotates along with the wheel and this bar or rod is what is called an axle. Now, some cases we see only one wheel and we have an axle. Some cases like in cars, also in toy cars, we have two wheels attached to a rod or an axle so to say all right so the wheel or the circular disc it rotates of course and along with the circular disc rotating what also rotates is your axle also rotates so mind you wheel and axle also is the simple machine which while rotating produces linear motion Okay, to give you an example, let me take the help of this umbrella over here. This is my mother's umbrella actually. Alright, so, although this is not exactly wheel and axle, just to give you an idea. So, when it rotates, so this 
membrane or cloth part of the umbrella is acting like your wheel and this bar, this rod is your axle. You can see the axle is also rotated. Now if we have another wheel over here, okay, and I let it roll, what happens? The wheel is rotating, the axle is rotating, but it moves forward. That is, it moves along a line, along a straight line. So, it, so wheel and axle, while rotating, produces linear motion means, while rotating, it moves forward in a straight line. Okay, so that is how we can define wheel and axle. Wheel and axle is a simple machine which while rotating produces linear motion. Now there are some other examples of you know wheel and axle also that I would like to give you. One is this, okay, a tap where the wheel is this part here, okay, this thing which rotates and this part is the axle. Alright, so we have a wheel and axle combination in case of a tap also. One wheel and one axle like this. The, this it is not exactly, the wheel is not exactly circular. What I mean to say is it works on the principle of wheel and axle. Likewise, a door knob. Okay, a door knob rotates like this. Alright, so it is, it works on the principle of wheel and axle. Alright, uh, of course, you know, the steering wheel of a driver, when a driver is driving a car, the steering wheel of course is the wheel and it is connected to the engine part of the uh, car, alright, by the axle, okay. And any, of course, any wheel of cars, you have two wheels, two front wheels and two rear wheels, okay, both of the wheels to the front will be connected by an axle, likewise both of the wheels on the rear side of any vehicle will be connected by an axle or rod, okay? So we can write wheel and axle is a simple machine which while rotating moves in the forward direction also you can write, moves in the forward direction, moves in a forward direction, just to make you know things simpler, alright, understanding mind you class 6 is more important than simply mugging up the definitions, once you understand you can express in your own words. It's not that you have to follow word by word as written in the book. Okay? Understanding is more important for you all, remember. And therefore, William Hanks will be defined as a simple machine which while rotating moves in the forward direction also you can write. Or you can write, uh, is a simple machine which while rotating produces linear motion also you can write. Okay, so this is about wheel and axle class 6. I hope you've understood.